and I still haven't returned it. Shh. <laughs> hey everybody, it's another R and R Friday, and I am reviewing this book that I got from the library. It is called Fairy Tale Feasts, a literary cookbook for young readers and eaters. Say that five times fast. I checked this book out months ago and I am so ecstatic to share it with you guys just particularly because it runs so deep with my own interests. It is a book that comes with multiple fairy tales such as Little Red Riding Hood and it has at the end of the story a recipe to go with it. So for example this one says Little Red Riding Hood's Picnic of basket of goodies and you have the full list of ingredients and how to make it and let me tell you something some of the recipes in here I think I could actually convince my kids to eat just because there is a story to go with it so they have um, a fruit salad recipe there is let's see here a soup re recipes there is a, a bread recipe, um, and I have to say, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the art in this, but they're kind of starting to grow on me. They are cute in their own way. Look at this. Look at this. The Little Mermaid is in here. Can you believe that? And what, what's the Little Mermaid's recipe in here? Uh, tomato sauce. Seaweed stuffed shells. That makes more sense. <laughs> So, um, but each little story is about three pages, um, and some of the longer ones are about five. So, yeah, I recommend this book just because it appeals to my personality. If your kids are not somebody who likes to listen to stories or, um, you know, books with a lot of words in it, then this may not be your cup of tea. I'm actually thinking about buying it myself just because this is the second time that I've checked it out and it's fun to just read that story right after or before uh, we make those recipes. So I will leave a link where you can buy this on Amazon in the comments below. Don't forget to check me out on all my social media websites. Those links are also below. And most importantly, subscribe! so that you can get more information just like this along with activities and my own Q&A advice. Be sure to send in your own questions to me. The information is below on where to send it and I will answer your questions when I get the chance on Monday. See you then.